The following is for mature audiences only. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back guys for a playthrough of the Callisto Protocol. Just a reminder, like I mentioned in the last video, I am sick af. I feel like crap, my muscles ache, my voice is raspy. Life is uh, difficult right now. Um, but uh, not as difficult as it is for Jake and Elias, who, you know, in the last episode, RIP. These, I feel like these are explosive canisters, and so they're going to be used most likely against a handful of enemies that are nearby. The problem is, is that I think the telekinesis... Oh, well, hold on, let me rephrase that. I'm not sure yet, but I don't know if the telekinesis works, like, when I hold it and use it, does the bar go down? Or is it each use takes just a little bit uh, of telekinesis? I need to figure that out. Because otherwise, I would just hold on to these canisters. Well, I could probably just shoot them, too. Whatever. But you can tell that there's many... something to pry this door open. Those access tunnels lead to the snowcat garage. I can get us inside. Who? Okay. Try to help out the trapped worker. Something is... Yeah, I wonder. Is it these containers? Do I shoot them at the door? Have you found anything yet? Come on! Hurry! Before those things come back! I don't know what door he's... Shit. Where are you? Damn. Damn it. Bitch. Okay, well. Yeah, there's more than one, I see him. some health or bullets. Shit! mission. Bad. Bitch. Not good. I got one shot left. Damn it. Controllers are so hard to aim with. Yeah, he's gonna kill me. Right. Oh, that blew up in my face. He was too close. I didn't realize that he got that close. Okay, let's try that shit again. Hey! Hey! You up there! Hey, uh, see if you can find something to pry this door open. I don't know where he is. Lead to the snowcat garage. I can get us inside. I have no idea where he is. He's dead. That didn't work out. Did a lot of damage. Damn it. I'm one 
hit away from death. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you. JK. Okay. This could be going better, I feel like. Shit. Right in the middle of this transformation. That was close. I do like the noise. That's so satisfying to hear. shot or one hit away from death again. Come on, give me some help. SIDS. Ah, oh, hell, thank God. It's not much, but it's something. What do we have here? Health gel. Thank you. And I'll take that as well. We got lucky. Ugh. Okay, let's see what Richard SIDS has. Alright. Made a bios. Richard Sid, six foot three, two hundred twenty-five pounds, gatehouse garage maintenance team, snowcat division, currently assigned to field duty, scrapping the decommissioned bridge between the abandoned terraforming station and gatehouse service tunnels, as per Warden Cole's directive. One A status delayed. So, are they talking about the bridge that we crossed that was like inconveniently busted? Was that like it was always the case before the breakout or whatever outbreak? The bridge over Schofield Ravine was constructed as part of the abandoned terraforming program, facilitating access to the Arca's landing pad, now the hangar. The service tunnels were incorporated into the gatehouse complex and are still accessible. Lots of questions. Okay, so we just need to get close to the door, and then that infected dude will come out. that Danny is working against us. I mean, we really should just be trying to find common ground here, you know? It sucks about Elias, but, like, that wasn't our fault. Radioactive materials. It's glowing. It's weird. The hell? Is that a camouflage creature? I can't quite tell. Well, tested and it didn't work. Oh, 
affects the water reflection. I thought that was going to be just like... Don't... Don't make sound. anything about light though. one of the stretchy neck monsters in that thing, do you? Shit. I want to stomp it, but I don't know if... That one looks like it could be as well. feeling they were exploders just because of like the way the, how long it was taking to come at me I was like in the big body of it it's like yeah that's an exploder for sure giving you time to shoot it because it'll probably be an instant kill if it hits you exploders often are freaking credits dude anything so is that how that works you can't stomp him so he doesn't drop any items it looks like actually wait if his limbs are here can I stomp those does that count I'm trying to see if I can hit it nope shit that's annoying how much health do I have should be okay for a little bit doesn't really give you a lot of options. It's very, very, <clears throat> I don't know if I would say linear, but like, just 
just move forward. There's just no tension. Shit. He was a little too close. In the yellow now. Ah, oh, shit. He dropped health. That's okay. I'm not full health anyway, so I can pick that up. I probably would have waited to use my injector, though, if I would have noticed it was health. So, like, look. Like, there's just nothing here. There's no items. Nothing interesting. It's just... Same there. It's just... Here's four paths, but... One of them is the way you came, two of them are broken. Stairs. And one of them is the only way forward. See, I don't like where it's got all these arrows this way. It's like, obviously. Like, obviously it's this way. There's literally no other way to go. There's no exploration aspect to this. I mean, the game doesn't encourage exploration because there's no purpose for it. I don't know, whatever. like again no, whatever carry light reminder to carry light No shit. No shit is this way. Definitely not that way. Huh, could I go this way by chance? Nope. Oh, okay. That was surprising. I thought it was gonna... Yeah, I thought I was gonna take damage. I do like how the guts fall from the ceiling, though. Or is that... Is that happening anyway, or is that because of the kill? Oh, it looks like it's happening anyway. Just kidding. drop stuff. GRP battery. Ah. Slight sword. Annoying. I don't think I can go anywhere here. Ah. 
Wait, I was in here with me. Yeah, I was. I can't remember which direction I came from. Oh, shit. So they all take... Three shots, it looks like. Okay, let's see. So the GRP batteries, I haven't really done anything with that much. Okay. Alright, we need to figure out what the next direction to go to is. It looks like, yep, this is it. Okay. Perfect. Yeah, this way. Thanks. this. You can handle that for a little while, Danny, since you were being a dirtbag and... Shit. And these things are tough. Busy. Is there another one down here I just missed, maybe? I hear it. Shit! Did not see it though. Jesus! Right out of nowhere. Now get out here. Didn't expect to see you again. Oh yeah, what's that? Huh? Did you left me out there to die? And you tried to kill me back on your ship. Guess that makes us even. Look, I don't know if you noticed, but things have kind of gotten a shit out there. Hey, you don't have to like me, and I don't have to like you, but Elias was right. We don't stand a chance alone, but together we might just make it out of here alive. Fine. If I can get that snowcat fixed, it'll get us to the hangar. You need to open the main gate. Control should be that way. How do I know I can trust you? Here, take this. You'll need it. Those things are everywhere. Name's Jacob, by the way. I know who you are. Quick weapon swap. Tap the left button to quickly swap between equipped weapons. What do you know? Weapons can also be selected and equipped from the inventory. Okay. Okay, tap the right button to bring up the quick weapon select selection menu. Tap the up-down button to select available weapons. Press the X to equip. Okay. Okay. 
Well, I think that's a good point for us to wrap it up. We will uh, continue with more of our playthrough of the Callisto Protocol tomorrow at 10 p.m. Pacific Standard Time right here on the Mark 9 channel, part of Mark After Dark. Where did she go? Huh. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, do not forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links there that might be of interest to you. One of which is a link to the Mark and I community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. There's also a link to geekoutpost.com, an entertainment media blog that I own, operate, run, manage, design, and write for. It is a great place to stay up to date on the latest entertainment and gaming news, reviews, and rumors if you're into that kind of thing. Otherwise, just know that I appreciate you and your time and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of the Callisto Protocol. All right, guys, that's it for me. Take care, be well. I'll see you later.